What's up guys, T-Max here. Welcome back to the channel. I vlog about language, culture, and travel, and we have been doing a series on learning the Chinese language, me teaching you stuff that you probably will never use and probably doesn't make sense, but we're doing it anyway. And today is gonna to be particularly unhelpful for you, but it will be quite interesting, so stick around. So remember all the things that I've been sharing so far are things that I found interesting or things that I thought would help me remember or learn the language better. And so today's is about logic. And so this is based on my logic, which may or may not be the same as yours. And just thinking about the words in this way has helped me to remember what these words actually mean. If you're lost or confused on this one, don't worry. It's in my brain, it's all discombobulated. And if I offend any Chinese native speakers with the ridiculousness of this logic, let me apologize in advance. If you appreciate the logic, then you're welcome. Jia Ren. Jia, home, Ren, person. Jia Ren. It actually means family member, but I remembered it as homeboy. Cause Jia is home, Ren is person, boy, but like your homeboy. Okay, so all of them are gonna be like this. So, you know, just a warning. <laughs> so this actually just means, what is your phone number? But ,你的电话号码 is, what is your, your phone number? is how much? So how much is your phone number? How much is it gonna cost you? How much does it cost me to get your phone number? Yeah, there's a lot more guys. Hawaii, Hawaii means overseas. Hawaii is overseas, so Hawaii. Yeah, that's how my brain works. Nan, wrong e. Nan means difficult, wrong e means easy. Nan is so much easier to say than wrong e. That's a very difficult word to say. So they're inverted in the easiness and difficulty of, yeah. next one. Yo qian means have money, which translates to rich. Yo yong means has use, which translates to useful. Yo yi si, which is has meaning, actually translates to interesting. If you want to say something has meaning or it makes sense, it's yo dao li. Zhi bei zhen and zhi nan zhen translates to pointing north needle or pointing south needle. Both of these words mean compass. Kai means to open, guan means to close. Xin is heart. So kai xin, open heart, means happy. Guan xin doesn't mean close heart or something like that. It actually means to care about. Qing means affection. I qing would be affection for your spouse. Yo qing would be affection for your friends. Qin qing would be affection toward your family. Ru qing is actually enthusiastic. Ban tian. Ban means half. Tian is day. So ban tian could be half a day or a long time. Huh? Sometimes I like the politeness of the way the words are translated. Um, sometimes they have a stronger meaning, but they sound polite. So for instance, nan chi. Nan is difficult, chi is to eat. So nan chi, difficult to eat, actually means nasty, doesn't taste good. Nan he, nan difficult, he drink. Nan he, doesn't taste good, it's difficult to drink. Nan kan, nan is difficult, kan is to see. So if somebody is nan kan, that means they're ugly, but are difficult to look at. So throw nan in front of any other word and when you translate it, it sounds polite, but in Chinese it, it could be kind of strong. So this is your wu ming zhi. Wu means no, ming is name, and zhi is finger. So wu ming zhi is your ring finger. Zhao xiang ji is a camera for taking photos. Shi xiang ji is a camera for taking video. Both of these words have xiang in the middle, same tone, different characters, different meaning, but both of these things are cameras. No, Chinese is easy. So the character dian means electricity or electric. Dian hua is electric word, which means phone call. Dian ying is electric shadow, which means movie. Dian shi is electric 
look at, so that's a TV. Dianal is electric brain, which is a computer. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna get weird. Okay, so for my basketball fans, Chiu is a ball. But the character is comprised of Wang, which is king, and Chiu, which means seek or demand. So if you think about it, LeBron James, who calls himself the king, is always wanting the ball. He's always seeking it. So Chiu is ball. LeBron seeking ball. It worked for me. Bu is no. Mei is no. Tsul is error or mistake. Bu tsul means good. Mei tsul means correct. So Chinese is a tonal language, so sometimes the characters might sound the same, but they have different tone, which means they have a different meaning. Sometimes they have a different character, but they have the same tone, but have a different meaning. For example, Qin Shi means to have a meal or to eat food. Same exact pronunciation, Qin Shi also means to fast, which means to abstain from food. So you really have to be paying attention to the context to get what they're talking about on that one. Xiong, bear. Mao, cat. Xiong Mao, panda. So how do you say bear cat? Xiong Li, which translates to bear raccoon. What? Mi Feng is honey bee. Feng Mi is bee honey. Try not to confuse those. Shu To. Shu is comb, To is head. Shu To is to comb your hair. But To Fa is hair. So shouldn't it be Shu To Fa? It's not. It's Shu To. Okay, so I hope your brain is not hurting too much because mine is and every time I review these I'm like, oh yeah, okay, that's uh, I'm weird. Anyway, <laughs> please leave some comments below. Let me know what is your method for logic and, and when you're learning Chinese specifically. And if you have any other comments about the strangeness of my logic, feel free to share those. I don't mind. And remember to like, share, subscribe. And there are more lessons coming, so be prepared to not learn anything in the future. See you then. Edit, edit, edit. Hey, Tim, what's up? Hey, just finishing up this week's video. Still making videos about your weird understanding of the Chinese language? Is the world's oldest known wheel in Ljubljana, Slovenia? Yes, the answer is yes. Do you wear that shirt every time you edit videos? Do you wear that shirt every time you come harass me?